Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today I want to talk to you about priority mail and the fact that you don't have to use a priority mail mailing box because that messed me up for a long time. I kept trying to make everything fit into a priority mailbox, but you don't have to do that. So I want to talk first so you know the background. Number one, you USPS has flat rate boxes, right? So those are the, if it fits, it ships for a certain dollar amount across the United States. So number one, it's a padded, the, the one that I use the most is a padded flat rate envelope, so it's 710. So if I can get stuff stuck into that envelope, it is $7.10. Now, one thing I do do is I will either use a nine by six by three and cut it down a little bit or a six by four by four. If it's something fragile that's going in that padded mailer, then I want to protect it with a box. There's also, um, there's also a company that makes perfectly sized boxes, but they were much more expensive than just buying regular corrugated um, uh, cardboard ones and I'm cheap, so I get the corrugated cardboard. But now let's talk about so we have the padded mailer, we have the one size fits it chips, and then we have just a box, people. I don't know about you, but you you know this, I'm sure. Everybody in America knew this, that you can ship in any size box, but I did not know this. And so I spent so much time trying to get my stuff into those priority mailboxes, and it didn't work, but you can ship them in anything. You can ship it in a giant box. You can ship it in a little box. You can ship it in an Amazon box. Uh, just make sure you cover the old barcodes so that they don't, um, they can't still be scanned and get your package all kerfuffly. But I just wanted to let you know if when you're doing that, then it still has the same shipping rate as say a large, so these are all large flat rates. You can buy normal, see, I'll show you. I'll show you real quick because it's crazy. Oh, hold on. Okay, so to buy the regular ones, you just go here, you go shipping mail, mailing supplies, and then we're gonna say supplies. And then here's all the boxes. So like this priority mail shoe box is just a, it's a size, you don't have to send it as a if it fits it chips but all of these so if we go down here to the padded flat rate envelopes then you can put your own box in that flat rate envelope or if you don't want to use the padded flat rate envelope you can just put your label on that regular so that's plat, that's a regular flat rate envelope we want the padded flat rate envelopes and so when you add this to your cart all of this is free anything that you order here is free now i would say don't go too nuts i think i went nuts early on and i would get two orders of them or whatever they're really fast and coming so you don't have to worry about it and then i wound up buying more of my corrugated cardboard boxes when i found out that a lot of times i could just use the dimensions the weight and then the priority and save on shipping. Now, most times I charge for shipping on eBay. I'm not charging for shipping right now on uh, Etsy, but no matter what, if I can get that shipping cost down by using a regular box rather than one of the priority boxes and taking into the account the fact that this is probably 75 cents more because I didn't get the box for free, then I can save money. So if you didn't know, you can ship stuff priority in a box. Thank you. I was so happy to find that out. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.